Sharon Govich at center to the right side. Jonathan Huberto sends it across. That shit shot deflected. Came to Huberto behind the net. Side of the net. Sharon Govich. Two whacks. A third. Backhand try. Monson Bow. Turnover. Coronado trying to weave in. He'll hesitate, take it around the net. Coronado still with it, using the boards. Up to Rasmus Anderson. High wrister, Backlund in front, fighting for space. And again, Montembeau is ready. Suzuki. Up top, Matheson. Doc walks in, shoots in front. Rebound try, Slavkowski. Stick broke in his hands. Right. It's Doc who takes it. It hits Slavkowski. And as he goes to try and put this in on the... Seven ball. Plays it up the wing. Looking for Mantha. Gallagher. Took it away, Armia and Gallagher towards the net, and a good play, he wanted that rebound. And it gets right through the arms of Nazem Kadri, that's a textbook back check. Struble right on in the right pad, Wolf kicked it aside. The silver sticks for his kids, a pretty cool moment for Michael Backlund. Miramanov, in deep, shot right on, handled, Montembeau, Struble. In Avalanche teammates, Kadri, new hook, collide there, both Stanley Cup winners together. Pass in front, new hook, jamming Wolf. Able to find it as Dustin Wolf, the 23 year old, is going right for Cole Caulfield as he rides this heater. Had a career high 28 last year, 10 already. One time drive, what a stop! Dustin Wolf robbing Savard. He pushed across. That's an outstanding save. They come again. Anderson winds up the speed behind the net. Josh Anderson up for Hudson. Hudson. Anderson. Pop pass. Dvorak shoots. Another stop by Wolf. In his skates, trying to barrel through. It comes to Wolf. Kuzmenko off the right side space. Kadri waiting in, shoots right past stop. Montembeau, his best save of the game. Played to Evans quickly with Newhook. Evans over the line. Newhook protects. Evans in front. Slavkovsky shot. Another pass stop. Good passing, Montreal. Samuel Montembeau has been sharp early in this game and. Jaden Struble's gonna pinch in on Kuzmenko. He doesn't have Jake Evans' full support. Montreal coming off the loss Saturday night to Pittsburgh. Montembeau took the loss there. His ninth game of the season tonight for Montembeau. Looking for his first win since October 26. Picked up by Hudson. He stops on a dime. Hudson works it across. Matheson, head fake, in, shoots, and Wolf stops it. Spinning from a knee. Works it in deep. Heineman chasing, as does Anderson. Up for Gooley. Gooley, look out. He bobbled it. Math is on the move. In comes Math to the backhand. What a stop on Tempo. Breakaway chance. The puck just bobbles right over Caden Gooley. It hits the boards first, bounces over his stick. He tries to catch Mantha, but a much better start for them. After that first shift where it was Sharon Govich with a couple whacks in front of the net, Montreal kept most of the play out of their own zone, kept players off their goaltender outside of a, an Anthony Manta. Evans, good speed cutting in. What a good rush. And again, though, Caden Gooley works it down low. Suzuki try to get it to Doc. Caulfield lines up at the side of the net. Might have hit Wolf pipe and stayed out. Follow up try. As Dustin Wolf had to be very careful that that puck did not trickle past him. Here's the first one right off the. Mackenzie Weger has the puck, flips it, Zeri, nice move, Zeri cutting in across one time, you're a man off and hit a Calgary score, Zeri buries the rebound and Calgary strikes first, it's 1-0 on Connor Zeri's third of the season. He was going down initially and as the puck gets deflected it's going to go right to Connor Zeri, Zeri starts to play and as this puck moves across Heineman, he kind of toe picks in front of the net. He's in his battle with Kadri, but no one can track that puck as it goes to right to Connor Zeri, who had the nice hands initially. He and Ryan Huska likes the combination of Huberto as the passer and Mantha as the shooter. Now he doesn't have that offensive threat to pair together the rest of this game. Gallagher, good speed, gets to the puck first. Matheson at the blue line, fakes the shot. Torsen at high tip, off the crossbar! Both players go down to the ice. Officials catch Kirkland. It was a close call for the Canadians right before that. Josh Anderson with a, a high tip. Bats this out of the air. Just hits the cross. Not 100%, so Hudson jumped into PP1 for Montreal. And that's not a slight to Mike Matheson. That's just Lane Hudson. It's, it's too good to ignore what he does with the pucks. One of the best things in his toolbox, right? And that's why he's up here, why he made the NHL. In front, Gallagher, space, score! What a goal! 
Brandon Gallagher when they needed him. With five seconds left of the power play, it's 1-1. seconds left on this power play and Calgary is going to have three players in the battle that leaves Gallagher alone in front of the net you can see Sharon Govich he cheats into the battle he leaves Gallagher all alone and a nice job by Gallagher waiting for Dustin Wolf to open up his five hole as soon as he gets him to move that paddle he just slides it in nice Bouncy bucket, center, collected by Slavkovsky, he's got some runway, Yuri Slavkovsky, stop and shoot, he off the post! What a rip and tight, and he labeled Iron, new one. Try and take away the upper half of the net. Battle off the face-off, puck available, Evans, Hidia, two on one, Evans short-handed, with Armia, Jake Evans, Armia, shot, score! Short-handed goal! up the bell center after scoring six goals in his final 12 games last season it's been a slow start to the season for Yoel Armia but he's gonna get one here Sharon Govich and Huberto collide right off the face off that leads to a two-on-one with Jake Evans and Yoel Armia and Evans does a nice job freezing Uyghur Uyghur can't attack Evans he can't cheat over to Armia Lombard racing after the puck chip to center Kirkland gave it away on the tape, Cole Caulfield in! Stop by Wolf, what a save! Calgary trying to push, Anderson works it down low. In front, Kuzmenko is all tangled up by Struble. Bank pass up ahead for Josh Anderson with Gallagher. Gallagher fires, score! Brandon Gallagher, second of the game, and Montreal has a two-goal lead. Strong defensive play on Andre Kuzmenko in his own zone. And as he's coming back to the net, it's a clean play on Kuzmenko. That leads to this two-on-one. Kapanen chips it out. The Calgary Flames are all in the zone. Kevin Ball is not able to get back in time. And Josh Anderson does a nice job. Patient with the puck. Puts it right into a good spot for Brendan Gallagher, who beats just Dustin. Offside challenge coming from Calgary and head coach Ryan Huska. This is an interesting one because it's going to be, I believe it's going to be the Josh Anderson. Does he have possession while he crosses the blue line? Does he put himself offside? So there's no doubt that his his body went in first, but we're going to have to see if he has possession of this puck before he goes in. And so at first glance, he's into the zone before his stick touches the puck. There's a good chance this is coming back. Two feet into the zone and then makes contact as his feet have already crossed the plane. After coach's challenge video review, it was determined that the play was offside. We have no goal. So Mitch Gunning, quick call. They didn't need a lot of time and no goal. It's but battle continues. Coleman, wrap try from behind the net as Coronado tried to spin and shoot. Couldn't get the shot off. He spins away. Coronado cutting in. Rister score! Beautiful goal. And Matt Coronado has tied it up at two. American Hockey League last year in 41 games. He is a goal scorer. He's a shooter. And this is way too much time and space to give him. As the Montreal Canadiens are all going to sag back. You can see Jake Evans. He goes out to the point. And as he does that, Gooley's a little late to realize that he's got to go out and challenge Coronado. You know, they've been able to keep things pretty focused and pretty concentrated for the 60 minutes and now they have a chance to go out and win one. So Devora, Suzuki, Matheson to start. Suzuki lost his stick. Coronado in. Shooting score! Game winner! What a night! Matt Coronado seals it just seven seconds into OT and Calgary gets the two points. For the Calgary Flames, his second goal of the night and it's right off the faceoff. Christian Dvorak is going to win this puck back, but Nick Suzuki loses his stick and he's not able to block off that passing lane. That means Mike Matheson can't go and force Matt Coronado. He's got to play more in the middle. And that gives Coronado all the time and space that he needs in order to get this shot off right.